hello guys welcome back in this video let's go through olama's new app i will show you how you can download the app how you can download the models from the new app itself as well as use the terminal to interact with the llms one thing i find in many comments of the video is it's difficult to use the llms which are being downloaded from olama because you need to be integrating with some sort of graphical user interface and so on but now with this new olama's app you don't need to worry about that you can just download and use the app for downloading you can just click the link here and it will show you some steps i have already downloaded but if you want to see some kind of stops in the olamas web page itself this is the olamas web page i suggest you to go to this blog post where they have mentioned all the recent developments if i go to the blog you can see here this is olama's new app it was released on july 30 and then also there is this open ai gpt open source models which you can directly use with the olama's app so i can go inside here olama's new app i'll provide the link in the description it says here it's available for mac os and windows once you download it you need to open the app one thing you can do directly is go to the terminal and run the olama commands for example here i'm saying olama list i just had one model already installed one thing to mention is that if you already have olama installed if you update to the recent version the ui will be automatically updated so you don't need to download so here this is how you can run gpt os 20b i am downloading this model so that it is also visible in the ui to open the ui in mac i can just write olama like this you can see Olama's new app. Simple to use. I'll walk you through the UI. On the top, there is this chat icon where you can have existing chats and so on. And here, there is this new chat icon. And here is the send the message is where you can send the message. And here, this is the web browse, Google and web source. If I click this, you can see web source requires an Olama account. So in order to use all the functionalities, you need to have the Olama account. So you can create an account once that is there, you can use these things. But for us, I just want to show you how easy it is to use the app. So here on the second one is the Torbo. The Torbo is also another functionality that Olama has mentioned and you need to be logged in. Before going into the models, I just want to quickly touch also the Torbo, but what it is, right? So if you go to the website, you can see there is Torbo on top. Just click on the Torbo and it is in preview right now to be paying for that, right? So upgrade to Torbo, you need to have $20 per month. What it offers is, is speed up model inferences, run larger models, privacy first, Olama does not retain your data. Whenever you run the models downloaded by Olama, it will be running in your machine. The idea of Torbo is that it will not be running in your machine. It will be running somewhere else, but then you need to be paying $20 per month now let me go to the app itself and here the third one is the drop down where there are different models it is not necessary that it will be showing only the models that you have already downloaded it will show all the other models also provided by default here but if you choose one of this model and if it's not downloaded it will start downloading i will just show you briefly as you can see here there is this oss 20b if i click this one I have already downloaded if you go back to the terminal here you can see I downloaded from the terminal itself and I can just ask questions here I can just say hi and you can see it will be replying in the terminal also so it is taking some time here to reply because this is 20 billion models and it depends upon your machine how powerful is the machine so that is the reason where the turbo comes into place if you don't have powerful machine you can use the turbo but then again 20 dollars per month you need to be paying it now it says thinking and all sorts of things so this is from the terminal now i can go to the app itself if i go to the app i have selected the same model i can just say hello it should be providing me the same answer hello how can i assist you today and then you can also see the thought process if that llm or model supports the thinking process so we need to respond with a friendly greeting likely ask how I can help so then it provides you the answer and additional functionalities i hope you know rack retrieval augmented generation you can already drag and drop some of the files and you can ask the question let me just have one file here i have this attention all you need paper i can just drag here you can see 
there is this attention is all you need paper and i can say here what is this paper about and what it will do it will first extract the contents from this particular pdf and then it will provide me the answer so now you can see there it is ongoing process here and it will use the LLMs under the hood and here I'm using GPT OSS 20B meaning that OpenAI is a 20 billion model and once it goes through all the process then it will provide us the answer so that is how the how the rag things works right so it is going to retrieve some information from this particular document and provide you the answer when this is answering let's go and see in the settings also because there are some things that you can change from the settings if you are opening the app on the top there is this olama and inside it there is this settings right so in the settings there are functionalities one account it's not connected you can sign in another is expose olama to the network meaning that allow other devices or services to assess the olama this is also good functionality you can just toggle this and it will be saved and it will be allowed and the next one is where is the modal location you can browse the modal location as you want the third one is what it's it's interesting because the context window now you can see it is just using the 4k context window it says here context length determines how much of your conversation local LLMs can remember and use to generate the responses so you can change this by dragging here remember in when doing this use the right context length for that particular llm you can change it from here now i can maybe go to 32k that is being saved automatically there is no save button somewhere but you can just save it and last one is the airplane mode interesting to see the name here airplane mode keeps data local disabling torvo mode and web search meaning that if you go to the ui you can see that here there is this torvo and web search mode if you don't want that to be showing you can already go here and do the airplane mode and now if i go back you can see there is not these things it is necessary because or not necessary but it is good if you don't want to sign into the olama then this is already more than enough right so now let me go to the last comment here i'm saying hello and then here what is the paper about so it didn't answer me i went back into the settings page but what i can do here is he did this the document is gone i can bring back the document i can say what is the paper all about let's see if it answers i will be waiting for some time in the ui itself if it answers or not so when this is answering now i hope you get the point because many of us are using olama and need to integrate some third parties i have also created a video about open web ui where you can have all the LLMs from Olama as well as some other additional models exposed in the open wave UI and that's good to have the UI quite good and there are many functionalities in the open wave UI but having the simple uh, UI from the Olama's team itself uh, it's easier to use you can see it is quite minimalist there is the chat feature you can go to the settings and change some of the settings there this is the rack feature and it is taking some time the reason it might be also taking some time is because we have choose the bigger model and now you can see it is collapsing but we can choose the smaller model for example let's say that i want to go with gamma 3 1b so if i go into this one and it is not downloaded in my machine what i will do is i will drag the same document here i will just say what is the paper about it's still the same question but now i will run you will see now first it will download the model this is what i wanted to show you because if it is already downloaded it will be used directly if it is not downloaded and it will download so that is really in good part from the ui itself and if you go here you can also find the model meaning that you can go to olama's website and find the model that you want for example i go to this olama's website i go here in the model section and maybe i want some embedding model i have this nomic embed text so i can go inside it or i can just sort this one right nomic embed text so i can go to the app itself here and if i search no models found if i maybe go back to the ui and let me just sort the whole one Control c i will go back here and i will just paste here you can see if you pass the whole text of the model it is showing that okay i find there is one model that i can download and it says the download icon you can just download it
so now you see the point when i use the bigger model it was not answering but here when i choose the smaller model it says here okay here is the breakdown of the document and overall summary so this is the transformer based neural network all these things introduction background all sorts of things is being shown here so you can ask the follow-up question also it also shows page 17 page 16 and some of the stops are based on that and you can ask all sorts of things can you help me write a python code to upload data to s3 bucket this is the simple question i asked to show you the capability of the coding part and now you can see this is the code it is showing here all these things and the explanations and so on this is the simple question but you get the point having the ui already it's quite easy to use so yeah i think that's all i wanted to show in this video before we had olama we download it we use from the cli or integrate that into some third party apps but now we have the app already here and we also have this chat here on the side we can ask the questions we can do the rag we can do coding all sorts of things i hope it's quite easy for the newer persons also who are not aware of many tools integrating into one so just download once and use it all the time that's all for this video thank you for watching and see you in the next one